Okay, so we want to fill the paper with long and short little lines to make it give the, the feeling of a fabric. And it'll look something like this. And the pattern you create is totally up to you. You can make a design, you can add Indians, you can add your very own color and repeat that color. Repeat the color in any other square. So you can have a repetition and a pattern and you can have a beautiful quilt, a Thanksgiving quilt. You can use markers, you could use watercolors. The medium is totally up to you. Crayons, the idea is to make it look like a quilt, only using paper. So now you wanna add one word for one thing that you're thankful for. And I'm thankful for my family, so I'm gonna write the word family and I'm gonna write the word thankful. T-H-A-N-K. You can divide it if it doesn't fit. Thankful. Thankful for family. What else are you thankful for? For your home. I'm thankful for my home. Thankful. We're doing a thankful quilt for our holiday season. All right, so now we're using watercolor on the quilt. Any color you like, repeat the pattern of color and the pattern has already cre been created with the lines in purple. So now I am using the color blue to repeat it and the color yellow. Now I am gonna use an art stick and I am gonna add some orange for more color. And I'm gonna repeat the orange in another block now I'm doing this one pretty quick for you guys because you guys requested the tutorial. Some of you said you wanted to do this with your family and friends over the break. So I hope this is helpful. Remember, you do not have to do it identical like me. You can do your very own color combination. You can do your very own repetition of line. You can just use colors. I've showed you some examples. I'm gonna use, I think blue is gonna look really good here. So I'm gonna use light blue. For another color combination here using blue and purple and I have some viewers that are live with me now in class and they're excited because they want to see the video when I load it up to the channel and these are like my secret audience they're inside the art studio right now with me and they are like what is she doing yep they like it okay I'm using now dark purple a little bit of dark purple and remember I'm doing a pattern so I need to repeat this color somewhere else again and I'm using it really quickly I'm doing this all really quickly I think I'm almost done maybe I need a little bit of yellow maybe I need a little bit of yellow a little bit of yellow let's see yellow 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 this yellow looks like pumpkin yellow I like this one so I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna cover my word thankful with yellow and use a little bit of that yellow in this corner. And then I have to be cautious with the paper. Remember, this is paper like from the printer. So if you use it, the paper from the printer is very, very fragile. So you may not have, um, you know, a lot of room to play with it because it could break. Be very careful with it. All right, so now this is what I'm gonna do. This is this last uh, part of the quilt. This is what the boys and girls love in class. After they have their beautiful drawing made, they go like this. Why? What, are we gonna throw this away? No, we're gonna just wrinkle it to make this look like fabric. So now when we open it, this is gonna look like a fabric, or at least we're gonna attempt to look like a fabric. So here we go. So we have one part of our little quilt that you can work together and actually sew together and put it together. You can do more than one piece. Each person can do one, and then uh, you can either staple it or we can actually uh, use yarn like we did in class. And I'll show you the last final presentation. Hold on. So this is what the quilt can look like, piece after piece, stapled together or with yarn. This one has been stapled, but we have another one that has yarn on it. You know, uh, quilt. This one was yarned and sewn together with a little bit of yarn uh, put together as much as possible. 
thankful quilt, thankful quilt for the holiday season. Enjoy guys and have a safe holiday.